A warm welcome to the stars and director of Armageddon Time. On the other side of the table, we have the parents, Jeremy Strong and Anna Daway. All right, so first question, Rodrigo. Hi, a uh, question here from Brazil. This is Rodrigo Fonseca from TV Global. Question to Mr. James Gray. Uh, although we are in New York in the, the 80s, it's impossible not to think about Francois Truffaut, 100 Blows, and the French of the 50s. I would like to know the relation that you found between Paul Reff and Antoine Duanel, and if you could say something about the reference of Kandinsky, the painter in the film. Thank you very much. Well, I'll start with Kandinsky. Kandinsky was a happy accident. The uh, actual story in real life was that I went to the retrospective of Edward Hopper at the Whitney. But the Whitney is no longer the Whitney. The Whitney is now in another building. And so I couldn't shoot there. And the Guggenheim is a f fabulous place to shoot. And they just happened to have a had a Kandinsky show. And I did love Kandinsky. And it worked out perfectly. Um, Truffaut, I mean, it's impossible to not rip him off if you're making a film about childhood. It's the single greatest work on childhood ever created for the cinema. So I tried not to watch it, and I'm sure I still stole from it hugely. You can't forget it. It's a legendary movie. It was the first movie, by the way, that I showed my children during the first initial COVID lockdown. Um, and I didn't know what they were going to think, and they loved it. So it tells you about the film's enduring power. So guilty, I, I stole from it. <laughs> we have a question, Sardro, the lady.